During this lesson, you will be required to fill out a worksheet. I recommend you read through the worksheet before viewing the lesson. In order to give you time to do this, you can use the pause button at the bottom of the screen. Learning outcomes. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to state what the sieve analysis test is used for. Sieve analysis test. An aggregate should be well graded, that is, it should consist of all sizes of sand or gravel from the largest specified down to dust. To determine if aggregate is well graded or not, the sieve test is used. The sieve sizes generally used for the test are 75mm, 63mm, 37.5, 20, 14, 10 and 5mm for coarse aggregate and 2.36, 1.18 for, for fine aggregate. So basically ranging from 75mm in diameter down to 1.18mm for the fine aggregate. Sieve analysis test. The minimum sizes of sample for this test are 250kg for 19mm coarse aggregate and 50kg for fine aggregate. If the samples are considered too large for the sieve, the test can be carried out in two or more sieving as necessary. Sieve analysis test. The sample is dried, weighed carefully, passed through the sieve starting with the largest mesh first. If sieving is being carried out by hand, each sieve should be shaken separately for at least two minutes. If however mechanical shaking is available, then the sieves are arranged uh, in the correct order, that is on top of one another in a nest, then ag agitated or shaked, vibrated for 10 to 15 minutes. After sieving, the amount retained in each sieve is carefully weighed and a percentage passing through each sieve is calculated and recorded in the form of a graph. Conclusion The sieve analysis test is used to determine if aggregate is well graded or not.